What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Today we're gonna do um, a twist on a cordon bleu, except I'm gonna use filet mignon, prosciutto, fontina, and sauteed baby greens. Then we're gonna bread it just like you would a cordon bleu, flour, egg, breadcrumbs. We're gonna make a nice little garlic cream sauce for it. I'm gonna slice it and then put it on the plate. So what do you say? Let's uh, pound this beef. All right, so first I took a piece of filet mignon, an end cut, and I butterflied it. I have it between this Ziploc bag that I cut because I'm going to pound it. We're gonna beat our meat. I know you were waiting for me to say that earlier, but whatever, late than never, right? So we're gonna pound it flat, not too thin because we don't want holes in it. Just thin enough. I was thick. We have our meat. We lay it on a plate. A little bit of salt because the prosciutto we're using is salted. The fontina cheese is salted. I've seasoned the greens, salted. Salt and pepper. And then we're gonna take our layer of prosciutto, sliced thin, cover the whole inside of the filet. And then we have our cheese. We're gonna put that only on one side because this is the side we're gonna roll. However much cheese you desire. You don't want too much because you don't want to roll it and then when you cook it, it's gonna fall apart. That's what the toothpicks will show you in a minute. And then we're gonna stuff it with our greens on top of the cheese. Now, roll it up. Whatever falls out, too bad. They don't get to play. After we roll it up, we're gonna dust it with bread, with uh, flour into the egg. And then breadcrumbs. That's gonna give us our fried cordon bleu effect, except we're gonna saute it. That way we don't have the oil seeping into the inside of this thing. We're just cooking it on the outside. Because for the most part, everything in here is cooked except for the beef. So the beef, that's why it's on the outside. Now we take our toothpicks and we do an X so that it doesn't unfold when we cook it. Because what happens is we put it into the hot pan with oil and then the meat seizes up and then it starts to unravel. We got a hot pan with oil. And then we're gonna put our meat into it. This isn't gonna take that long to cook because the meat, the, the filet itself is flat. You don't want it too well done and you don't wanna dry it up. So we just wanna brown it all the way around. Again, we're just trying to melt the cheese and warm the inside. Just like that. And as you can see, the toothpicks are working. We pounded it out flat enough that we've sealed where the openings are so that it's not all over the place. All right, I'm gonna go into the oven for about five minutes just to warm and melt the inside. We're gonna make a quick cream sauce while we're cooking our Cordon Bleu. A little bit of garlic. Garlic has oil in it already. That's why I didn't put any oil in it. Saute the garlic. And then because we're using the beef, I'm gonna use a brown sauce. Tomatoes. Render out the juice in the tomatoes. I'm gonna get a scoop of my brown sauce. And then we're gonna finish it with a, with a spot of heavy cream. Now that's right, I haven't seasoned it yet because my brown sauce is seasoned and we're reducing it. 
the fat and the cream is gonna cut through the seasoning in the brown sauce. So we'll finish it at the end if we need to. For sure, some black pepper. Nice little, nice little acid from the tomatoes, rich from the cream. We are gonna need a little bit of salt. I do want to bring it down just a little bit more, a little bit thicker, so that it adheres to the breadcrumbs on the beef. Just like that. Pan sauce. Nice, toothpicks worked. That's what we were hoping for. We got a nice crust on the outside. Put that on the cutting board. We're gonna take our pan sauce and go right onto the plate. Easiest way to get the toothpicks out, we're just gonna twist it. Twist the toothpick, right out. Clean. Toothpick, as you can see, they did their work. It's still together. I believe this is the seam right here, so I'm gonna turn it over, and then I'm gonna cut it on a bias, on an angle. Nice. That way we can see a long version of our cordon bleu. See what I'm talking about? We have a nice medium rare piece of steak because when I rolled it twice, the inside is still mid rare. We'll hit it with some greens. And there we go. Filet mignon, cordon bleu. Chef Jason style. Oh man, oh.